Hi folks, Jeff Williams here where we have the largest selection of Chevrolet Silverado and GMC trucks with up to $5,000 cash back or 0% financing for 72 months. Plus, you can take full advantage of over $9,000 in cash back and Autry Moreland discounts on select Chevrolet and GMC full-size SUVs. That's Autry Moreland Incorporated, 2505 East Malone in Sykeston, Missouri. More than standing on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much! Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman Newscast. My name is Corey Knowles. Today is Thursday, July 8th. Sorry for the delay. We've been a couple days off this week because of the other thing, and I was on vacation one day, so it's, it's throwing our schedule a little off. So I apologize for the, the lag in the videos. I've got several things going on this week. First off, Governor Jay Nixon visited Dexter yesterday to speak at Farasia and called on the General Assembly to reach an agreement this week to pass the Missouri Automotive Manufacturing Jobs Act. The act, he said, was drafted to help save thousands of existing Missouri automotive jobs and attract next generation automotive jobs to the state. Nixon called the General Assembly in a special session on June 24th to pass the Missouri Automotive Jobs Manufacturing Act after numerous conversations with legislative leaders from both parties. At the time, legislative leaders indicated that strong bipartisan support existed to pass the act quickly, but the bill now remains stalled in the legislative process. Where it'll go from here, we don't know just yet. In another story, a grand opening was held yesterday for the new Southeast Missouri State University Autism Center for Diagnosis and Treatment. Missouri Governor Nixon was on hand to welcome the opening of the new center, which began operating January 4th in its new facility. Fountain Street on the grounds of the Washington School at the corner of Middle and Mill Streets in Cape Girardeau. Since its opening, the center has completed more than 35 evaluations, assessments, and has additional appointments scheduled through August. Also, as her small eastern Missouri town celebrated the news that four-year-old Elisa Meyer was safe, a man wanted for questioning in her abduction was shot, shot and critically injured himself as officers approached his home. It was a gruesome twist to the story of Elisa, a little girl with big brown eyes match, snatched from the front yard of her Louisiana, Missouri home at about 8 p.m. Monday while her mother was inside cooking dinner. Both a happy and different ending to that story. Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder was also in Cape yesterday where at 8 a.m. he filed a lawsuit and spoke to a group of supporters outside Rush H. Limbaugh Sr. U.S. Courthouse. Kinder filed the lawsuit with three other plaintiffs, the mother of an autistic child from Dexter, a 75-year-old woman from St. Louis with several medical conditions, and a Johnson County woman in her early 20s. Kinder said he wants to challenge parts of the law that make coverage more expensive and less comprehensive. In Cardinal news, lost another tough one last night in the ninth inning, came into the ninth carrying 7-4, wound up losing 9-7, 8-7. Loss takes their record to 45 and 39 and pushes them third place in the National League Central. So it's getting a little rough now. Cardinals will be back at Coors Field this afternoon at 2:10, where they'll take on the final game of the Rod with the Rockies uh, behind ace pitcher Chris Carpenter, and they're going against Ubaldo Jimenez, who is right now probably one of the hottest pitchers in baseball. So tune in; should be an interesting game. And weather, it looks like today will bring with it about a 60% chance of storms. That chance is going to increase to about 70% overnight and tomorrow. So hopefully this is our chance to finally get a little rain. Uh, high today is going to be around 89, so a lot milder. And low is going to be in the upper 70s tonight. Storms expected to last through the rest of the week, so say a little prayer. I'd like to thank everyone once again for tuning in to watch your Little Statesman newscast here. As always, if you have any questions or comments, shoot me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for the stories you've heard about and much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.